welcome to the another new video of Chrismatic Planet. If you are looking for a unique coastal attraction to visit in California, then Bowling Ball Beach is definitely worth checking out. This beach got its name from the large number of bowling balls that are scattered along the shores. Bowling Ball Beach is part of Schooner Gulch State Beach in Mendocino County, California in the United States. You won't believe your eyes when you visit Bowling Ball Beach. The so-called bowling balls are actually a geological phenomena known as concretions. It occurs when sedimentary rock is formed by a natural process where mineral cause grains of sand or stone to stick together into large formations. It occurs when sedimentary rock is formed by a natural process where mineral cause grains of sand or stone to stick together into large formations. These borders are the result of millions of years of concretion and erosions, exposing the hard sphere as the mudstone of the cliff receded around them. Almost perfectly spherical, about 2 to 3 feet in diameter, stones like these have caused wild speculation wherever they have been discovered with answer from aliens to dinosaurs but the answer is actually simply a geological formation. It's a pretty strange sight but it's definitely something you won't see anywhere else in the world. At low tides, the bowling balls are exposed to the air and can be seen from a distance. However, when there's been a lot of rain or snow melts in the hills surrounding Point Rise National Seashore, where Bowling Ball Beach is located, it can cause high tides that cover the beach and conceal the bowling balls from view. So if you are in this area, be sure sure to check out this strange but intrigue coastal attraction and who knows maybe you will even find a bowling ball or two while you are there. When you visit the most unusual beach in Mendocino County, be sure to check out for low tide. You may only see these bowling balls when they are outcropping and lined up like rows of terracotta warriors, a Queen dynasty empress. A closer look will reveal that these concretions are just any old rock. It's much more resilient than mudstone which had surrounded them over millions of years as these erosions wore away under Pacific Ocean assault, forming cliffs behind with tough enough protectors. The scenic views at Sconer Gulch are something to behold. The two kilometers of trails offer an array that ranges from oceanfront cliffs, rolling green hillsides perfect for hiking or nature trip with your furry friends, and finally a stretch along the beach where you can enjoy some quality bonding time together. Legend has it that Sconer Gulch got its name from a story in which a Sconer was sighted one evening stranded on the beach in the mouth of the gulch, yet in the morning showed no evidence of being there. This photo shows several concretions in the whole sandstone bed. The concretions are more resistant to weathering than the whole sandstone bed. With further weathering, these concretions will be released from the sandstone bed and added to the other bowling walls that litter the beach. This photograph shows a large group of the bowling balls exposed at low tide on Bowling Ball B. The bowling balls are around about 2 to 3 feet in diameter and consist of sandstone. They were formed as concretion within the sandstone beds of the Galloway FM. The sandstone bed exposed in the bluff in the top center of the photograph has several concretions that are in process of forming new bowling balls. As the cliff is worn back by the base, the hard Hard sandstone concretions are left behind. This picture shows many of the thin sandstones and shales but that make up this small hog back north of the bowling balls have tracks of boring animals. This photograph looks south from the northern part of the bowling ball beach and shows bowling balls within bowling lanes that were formed by hard sandstone beds on the wave cut platform. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.